Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. I want to share a story with you about my friend. Her name's Barb. I met Barb many years ago here at Crossroads. At the time, she was coming in. Every once in a while, her husband Jack would come. And me and Jack developed a really kind of cool friendship, but Jack didn't really believe in Jesus, but he would still come to church with Barb. And over time, you know, unfortunately, Jack uh, was diagnosed with cancer. He did give his life to the Lord, but he went home to be with Jesus. And that happening really left Barb in a very challenging place, as you can imagine. Barb has shared with us how at that point, she didn't know what to do. And really, uh, the Crossroads family, our care pastor, uh, our care team, all these volunteers surrounded Barb and really helped her through a, a very challenging time. And what's beautiful is even right now, as I share this story with you, Barb's been going out on different trips. She serves throughout the life of Crossroads. She's actually in Mexico right now, uh, helping and, and doing some missionary work. And it's just a, an amazing reminder that sometimes we come to the to the church and the church has to be a hospital where, where we just need people to come and help us. And in, in a great hospital, there are people who are there who care. Barb received some amazing care here at Crossroads because there were people here who were willing to be used of God to live self-sacrificially and, and to serve Barb where she was. And what's amazing is, is the church can be a hospital, but it's not supposed to stay a hospital. At some point we get well and then we engage and we try and help other people, which is exactly what Barb is doing right now. So I want to encourage you to step on in, in into a local church. I know sometimes church can be hard. People get hurt at church. If you're one of those people, I'm so sorry. that, But not every church is like what you experience. And I just want to encourage you to step on in and allow God to use the gifts he's given you to help other people. Because oftentimes we can be the healer. Really, it's Jesus using us that will help someone else so that they can step into helping other people, just like I shared the story about my friend Barb. This is what I do. First, I want you to share this video because God has a plan for all of us and he wants to use all of us. And in the comment section, I want you to share some of the stories of how God not only has used the church in general, a local church that you're a part of, to be a blessing to you, and how you're engaged in rolling up your sleeves and helping other people through God's plan for humanity, the local church. And God bless you today. 